Hey guys, to another gameplay commentary, and this is a little more, I'm excited about this one really, because The Legend of Korra was recently announced a couple months ago, and I've been really excited to hear what they were going to do with the game, so I watched the gameplay and I was like, oh my god, it's about time. But now, I'm going to, I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset about this, I'm a little disappointed because the only way to get Legend of Korra is through download. So let's, I'm going to enjoy the gameplay at the same time I'm going to commentary a little more about what's going on with the whole, whole point of the fact that there's, why is there no physical copy of the Legend of Korra? Now, I'm not exactly sure why there's not a physical copy of Legend of Korra to be available, but the fact of the matter is, to a certain extent, I guess when you're putting out a certain video game, you want to put out just a certain amount. But as I said, their whole point of the video game is based on what Korra has come up to up to this point, and it pretty much takes place right after she learns how to use airbending. Now, in a sense of why there's no, you know, physical copy, I believe that the game was not was intended for digital only due to the fact that, you know, possibly because the whole point of the video game is to you know expand the world of the avatar if not continue the series of avatar maybe i'm not sure but hey hey certain things happen certain stuff like that happen but anyway focusing on the why the, why no physical copy i believe it's because you know due to the fact that the game probably maybe rushed development or something like that and they probably just said okay let's just put it on digital and then release it on physical copy after you know maybe like a few months or so now I saw that I thought of that I was like uh no let's not do that because if you just do that then a lot of people are going to get upset because then you're just going to do it on you're just going to do a re-release and they're going to expect the sequel of the game and not want it. Now continuing with what's going on in this situation you really can't say that why is there no physical copy of the game yet because the game itself is only to be featuring a certain amount of time and effort in development which means where we the trailer that we've seen so far is probably where the game is in development and considering you know okay put it like this since everybody knows that video games get a release date it means that the games are technically finished and are on their way to retailers which is kinda cool because since Avatar Core is going to be something, let's put it like this, Korra is now one of Nickelodeon's highest rated characters now since Aang has released. Now, since Aang was the last Avatar before her, the series will, will potentially continue. Now, I'm going to put this in a two-part discussion. I'm going to discuss the potential sequel to the Legend of Korra video game. Part... I'm going to say that it's a good time to say that the Avatar series is probably due for a, you know, continuation of a series. I I mean, with the Avatar with Avatar Aang, it was a pretty pretty good series, you know. He found love, he found a great group of friends who went the distance to help him save the world. Even though they didn't really want to at first, they found out that the destiny and the friendship that they had with him proved to be very successful and they felt they all loved each other truly and deeply now due to the fact that Aang was still the last bend airbender at the time there are currently only four airbenders in the Avatar Korra series now of course these the avatars the avatars children are two of which are benders and one of them is not a bender which we know is King Bumi in this case Bumi in this case now Kaya and Tenzin are both water and are air is an air Tenzin is an airbender and he has three kids who are airbenders as well. And Kaya, on the other hand, is a waterbender who takes up after her mother. Now, if the kin if the continuation of the series is to begin with a new avatar, a new storyline, and all that, it's only natural that certain things would be changed. You know, like. Personally, I really don't think that the Avatar should die for another person to be reanimated to a certain degree. Because if the series is to continue, I really think that concept should change due to the fact that, you know, you know, pretty much, I, don't, I mean, you want to see the, 
you want to see the next avatar learn from the current avatar. But much like with Korra, instead of learning from Aang, she learned from her son and people who who knew him in that time period. Now, what's interesting about this enough is that the the relationships with Korra and her current allies has not as proven to be that of Aang and his allies. And if the series will continue with a, if I'm not mistaken, I think it goes air, water, earth, and fire. So if I had to guess, it's going to become an earth an earth bending avatar next. So pretty much it's the best thing about it. But due to the fact that certain things proved to be a larger concept, I'm pretty sure that the studio for Nickelodeon would love to see another Avatar series, if not, you know, continuation of the Korra series. But the biggest problem here is, why is Korra proving to be, you know, why is Korra so well received? It's partially because we know that there really weren't that many african-american characters in the nickelodeon franchise and yet the whole television series of video the television series never really featured a main female protagonist in one case so when Korra came out i guess that's what really brought around the whole breaking the racial boundaries kind of thing but then again looking at it like this another protagonist for the avatar series was katara but later became something of a supporting character but didn't really focus on more of her relationship with Aang than it did with the series itself. The series for Korra focuses on mainly Korra. It doesn't focus on primarily anything else but her relationship with the Avatar's you know, friends and their children which later becomes such a great point of interest throughout the series. For example, most people didn't really like Korra and later proved to be that she is, you know, a, she's a troublemaker, she uses her powers to oppress the others. But with the, with the conclusion of season 1 and 2, it's now only focusing on what is to be with season 3 and ongoing series. Now, considering that it's almost been 10 years since the first Avatar came out, which means that the first series of Avatar is almost 10 years old. I think that Nickelodeon should intend a sequel for the Avatar, if not do a live action movie for Korra. And quite frankly, it's about time they do it because M. Night Shyamalan messed up the entire series for live action film. It was completely fabricated, the storyline was crappy, the whole, the whole point of it was complete garbage. So honestly, if I had to take a guess on why the Avatar Korra series is continuing, I honestly believe that there are certain things in the game that should not change. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this, guys. Drop a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.